So, the High Republic. Let's talk about it. So, when the High Republic was first announced, it was announced with books, comics, and even a TV show at some point. So far, what we have is three books and two comic book runs going on so far. When The High Republic was first announced, there was a lot of backlash. Everyone was talking about it. Everyone was hating on it. It was horrible. Me, personally, I was not hating. You know, I wasn't hating. I wasn't, you know, excited. I was kind of like, oh, let's just see where this goes, you know? A lot of the artwork that got released, a lot of the concept art that got released, I really enjoyed. I'll put some concept art on the screen, but I really, I really like the concept art. I really, I really like how, like, it looks really medieval, and I like the vibe they were going for. I like a lot of the lightsaber hilts. Today's video, we're going to be talking about two of the books and the two comic book girls. So first, we're going to talk about these two books, Light of the Jedi, there it is, and Into Darkness. So... There is a third book, and I didn't get the third book, and I'm not going to really be talking about it at all. I really know nothing about it. I'm not going to recommend it. I'm not going to hate on it. I'm just not going to talk about that book. So the first book we're talking about is Why of the Jedi. This is written by Charles Soule. If you don't know who Charles Soule is, he's done some great work. I'll tell you that. He's done the Vader run from, I believe it was 2016. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. And he also is doing the current Star Wars run right now. And let me tell you, he is a great author. So when he was announced for the first book, I was I was pretty excited. So let's go over the first book real quick. So I'm not going to lie to you. I was really confused for the first half of the book. I was lost because it starts off um, with, the, with the setup of this big tragedy happens. And then you're just, boom, you're introduced to like almost every single character that's going to be in in the book like there's a lot of characters you're introduced like from the start and it for me it was hard to be like okay whose master is who whose apprentice is who like what is what is happening because i am lost i had to go over the first part of the book like three different times still didn't know what was going on but what i will say is the second half of the book made the first half of the book so much more sense like i was i was like oh my goodness thank you because like I was lost and the second half of the book really did make the book for me. It was a really good second half of the book. There are two characters come to mind that really like stuck out to me and that was the Trandoshan Jedi. I hope I'm saying his name right, Skiers. I really like that character. I think he's a really dope character. And then there was a Wookiee Padawan. I forgot the name. I put it up. I put all of, I put it like right here. I put it all right there. But for me, Wookiees have a special place in my heart so a Wookiee Padawan man I love Wookiee Padawan let's get more Wookiee Jedis in here man I would love that Wookiee Jedis bring them on I want it what I will say is the Nihil oh my gosh I was so surprised with the Nihil I loved every bit of them they're just so interesting and when it was announced that the Jedi wouldn't be going against Sith. I, that's when I was kind of like, oh, I'm on the fence right now because I want to see Jedi's versus Sith. I want to, like, I want a whole battle. This book, it's a pretty decent book. It's not a bad book. It has a good setup to what the High Republic era is all about. All right, we're going to move on to in the Darkness, and this one is written by Claudia Gray, and Claudia Gray has written Master and Apprentice, and that is one of my favorite Star Wars books. I really love that book. So when she was announced to do this one, oh my gosh, I was hyped. I was so hyped, especially, especially after reading the first book. I was so hyped to read this book. I was let down. I was really let down. I think it was because I was just so hyped up about it, but I was so let down with this book. I was... I don't know this felt like something was missing what I will say about this book that I really do like is that it does dabble in the dark side and it does mention a lot about the dark side but it's just it's kind of boring I'm not gonna lie it was kind of boring um until they started getting into all dark side stuff but yeah I really have not much else to say about this book other than 
ah, ah, it's like, and I'm in the middle with it. It was boring, but the dark side stuff was a lot of fun. So, in, in the darkness, I really got nothing else to really say about this book. All right, so next we're going to talk about the comics. And this right here is my bread and butter right here because I collect Star Wars comics. It's like one of my things. I, I literally have like two comic book boxes over here filled up with Star Wars comics. I, I love, I love comics. So this, this right here is my bread and, bread and butter. First, we're going to talk about the IDW publishing of High Republic Adventures. And this comic, it's not mine. <laughs> it's not mine. It's my sister's because this comic is aimed towards more of a younger audience. And there's not, no problem with that. I got no problem with that. So I'm not going to lie to you. I kind of like, before recording this video, I went through the first four issues because that's what's out right now. I went through the first four issues to kind of like get what's going on and i will say if you want your yoda because yoda i didn't i didn't mention this but yoda is mentioned in the other two books he's just mentioned and in the first book he gets a paragraph so yeah but if you want your yoda he's in the comic book series and um it was okay i was it was, it was okay he's not in the comic much but He's there. He's hanging around. He's doing some flips. He's he's doing his thing, you know. So yeah, this it's not for me. I would say it's definitely for a younger audience. So if I would say if you are younger or if you are older with kids and they're interested in Star Wars or Star Wars comic books, I would recommend this one. Highly recommend this one to a younger audience. But if you're like me, if you're you're a bit older, if you're in your twenties. Hey, no, no, none of that. Sip it. But if you are like me, and if you are a bit older, I can't really recommend this one to you. It is good, but I can't really recommend it to you, if that makes any sense. But if you are younger, highly recommend. Okay, so the next one we're going to talk about is the Marvel Publishing High Republic comic book. What I will say about this comic, it is definitely my favorite out of all the High Republic stuff that's come out so far. It's definitely my favorite. I did mention... Um, when I was talking about why the Jedi skiers, the Trandoshan Jedi, he's in this comic book, and oh my goodness, he's the best part of the comic book. I'm not gonna lie. At the end of issue five, because there's five issues out right now, at the end of issue five, I'm kind of nervous. Kind of nervous what they're about to do to my boy. So, yes, skiers, he's he's definitely one of my favorites, and he's in this comic book. And another thing, I can't I can't talk about this comic without talking about what happens in this first issue. If you know, you know. If you don't, let me tell you. Um, apparently, they don't know how lightsabers work. Um, there is a panel. I'll get to it. I'll show you. So, I hope the camera picks it up. There's this whole panel right here where she is, our main character right here, she is going down a tree with a lightsaber. And she just, she just hangs from a tree with her lightsaber. If, you know, if you know how lightsabers work, that's not how lightsabers work. You know, and that was, you know, it was a little frustrating seeing that for the first time. And it got really, you know, it made it to Star Wars Twitter. Let's just say that. It made it to Star Wars Twitter. And the author did come out and say that he'll, you know, do better next time. But even, even then, like, I think you should know it's a laser sword. It should cut a tree in half. And this isn't like a special tree. It's a, it's a tree, you know? So yeah, that was a little frustrating when um, I read that for the first time, but I'm over it somewhat, somewhat over it. So five issues in with this series, I, I personally am enjoying that comic book series. So to wrap things up about the High Republic, I'll say this. So what I can recommend to you if you haven't read The High Republic, um, I recommend reading the first book and then the comic book series because the comic book and the book connect with each other. The first book and the comic, if you read those, it's a good, it's a good way for you to sit back, kind of judge it for what it is, and go from there if you want to read all the other stuff. I have a feeling that when The Acolyte comes out, because if you don't know, The Acolyte is going to be about the end days of the High Republic, and it's gonna be very dark side, and it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be epic. I'll just say that. It, 
like it sounds epic so and that's definitely a make, make or break for um lucasfilm this is what the high republic is so far and i'm personally going to keep up with the high republic i think it is fine i don't think it's bad i don't think it's good i think it, it is just fine for what it is right now it's fine it's not breaking star wars the lightsaber thing broke star wars but it's not breaking the rules of star wars so far so i'm good um and if you're asking yourself do i have to read the high republic no you don't have to read it you you really do not have to read the high republic this is this this is a video to let you know like where it's at right now and i'll just say it is it's fine don't worry it's fine it's not good it's not bad it's it's fine, you know, but I will uh, continue to keep up with the High Republic as it goes on. And if y'all want more videos like this, where I give my opinions on Star Wars, just let me know. And if you're wanting a part two, when all the, when more High Republic stuff comes out, if you want a part two of High Republic talk, let me know because I'm going to keep up with it. So thank you for watching this video. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, share it. Give it a thumbs up. Do do everything except dislike it, report it. Don't do any of that. Do everything else, but none of that. Don't dislike it or report it because that would hurt my feelings. So, but so all that being said, guys, thank you for watching this video, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.